I think that the sharing economy represents the new frontier of capitalism. Uh, the number of goods and services that are promoted, exchanged, purchased online is just incredible. Mm -hmm. And the, the growth has been exponential. And so, whereas during the civil rights era, um, you know, there were sit-ins at lunch counters because, you know, a restaurant refused to serve black customers. In the sharing economy, it's, well, what if the Uber driver um, doesn't want to pick up a black customer? What if an Airbnb host doesn't want to rent to a Muslim American or, or a gay couple? So this, the laws that we've had to keep things, to try to keep things, they never were equal, but to try mm -hmm. to strive mm -hmm. toward equality, really don't exactly and neatly apply to the sharing economy. Mm. That's and true. some civil rights organizations are trying to get the laws changed. Some state and local governments are trying to regulate. Uh, and it, it, the question is, does it make sense? And what are the best ways to bring in those values of um, fair treatment and equality? And will we need to go to legislative bodies at the state and federal level to get that done? Or can the consumer persuade the companies to recognize it's in their enlightened self-interest to make sure that their serve goods and services reach the broadest possible consumer base and don't discriminate based on zip code or skin color or religion or that sort of thing. Mm -hmm.